today we're going over the unit four study guide for our test that's on Friday. Um, number one says select all representation of the number 89,500. So if you want to highlight the word all or underline it, you may. Um, so the first one says 89,500. Does that match that? Yes. 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 So we're going to go ahead and circle A. B says 8,950. No. no, because 8,950 would look like this, right? And that doesn't match this. Okay? 8,000 plus 900 plus 50, that would look like this, right? Mm -hmm. So C is out. 80,000 plus 5,000 plus 90, that would look like this. 85,090. So that one would be out. The last one says 80,000 plus 9,000 plus 500. Does that match? Yes. 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 Okay, so you should circle A and E. Now notice that there's two answers on number one. That probably means on your test there will be two answers to the first one. Okay? Um, so I try to make the test kind of follow the same uh, rules as the study guide. Now, obviously the numbers will be different, but the problems will basically be the same, okay? So the same names and word problems, that kind of thing. Okay, it says write less than or greater than in each blank, a blank to make the statement true. If we look at A, how many digits does this number have? Six. 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 How many digits does this number have? Six. 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 So that means we've got to start looking at the biggest place value. So we have a 500,000, 500,000. Then we have 80,000 and 90,000. Which is bigger, 80,000 or 90,000? 90,000. 90, 90, so we're going to write the less than symbol. Just... Um, a little helpful hint that we've talked about before. The less than symbol kind of looks like a capital L, okay? So, um, I also have, um, going back when you first learned about greater than or less than, you might have learned the crocodile alligator wants to eat the bigger number, right? So it, the mouth opens towards the bigger number, okay? Over here, how many digits does this have? Six. six. And this? Five. Well, so the six digit number is always going to be bigger. bigger, okay? All right. <clears throat> the last one, six digits, six digits, in front of the comma, we have a 386 and a 386. So that means we're going to look at the hundreds place, which is bigger, 900 or 800? 900. 900. So it's going to open towards the first number. Okay? So far so good? Yes. Okay. The distance between New York City and Boston is 225 miles. The distance between New York City and Salt Lake City is 10 times as far. How many miles is it between New York City and Salt Lake City? First thing I want you to do is either highlight or underline 225 miles. That's an important number in the, in the problem. Then highlight or underline 10 times as far. And then I want you to circle the word miles. That's our label. How many miles? So we're looking to figure out miles. So 
we've talked about before that the number or the word 10 can replace how many zeros? One. The word 100 can replace two zeros. So just thinking along those lines, if we say 225 times 10, that's like saying 225 tens, right? So watch this, 225 times 10. So what is your basic fact? The basic fact that you would do first, Chevy? Two times two. Yep. No. The basic fact is all the numbers in the problem except the zero or zeros. Olivia? One, 225 times one, okay? Everybody underline, don't highlight, underline 225 times one. What is, don't, don't highlight, underline. What is 225 times one? Everybody. 225. 225, because one times anything is that original number, right? And then we've got one zero that we need to bring over here. And that's our answer. We're going to plug in our comma, 2,250, and then our label is what we circled, miles. Okay? So now if on the test it has you multiply by 100, how many zeros are you going to add? Two. Two, right? Okay. Now it has been a little bit since we talked about decimals. Um, so, just to review, we have a, well, I'm going to write it up here real quick. Okay, place value. We have the ones place, the tens place. What goes right next to the ones place on the other side? Rylan? Tents. Tents. Yep. And Ava, since you weren't here for this, make sure you're paying close attention, okay? Mm -hmm. And Ava, what would be over here? So we've got ones, tens, hundreds, hundreds okay? And I want to point something out to you here. So ones, tens, hundreds, ones tenths hundreds does that make sense all right so and you always say the word when you're talking about decimals you always say the word either tenths or hundredths that the last digit is in so if we have a this number we wouldn't say the zeros we would just read this as three hundredths and if you picture what three hundredths looks like dexter in your in your head as a fraction three hundredths right so that would be equal to this does that make sense to you okay all right so that was just a quick review it says select all the expressions with the same value as 30 hundredths. So if we write the fraction 30 hundredths, okay? And we wanted to write that as a decimal. Allie, can you tell me what the decimal would be? Um, what would I write first? Do we have any ones? So what would I put? Zero point three zero. Okay, so remember that it's been a while. So
30 hundredths, 30 hundredths, right? You ready to watch the magic happen? Let's find some equivalents. Watch this, watch this. Boom. 30 hundredths is equal to three tenths, okay? Does that make sense? Those are all equivalent. So, if we have 30 hundredths, it's also equal to three tenths. So we're gonna circle the first one. B is out because what does B say? Three hundredths, but this is not three hundredths. So we're gonna cross for B. We're gonna skip over C and come back to it. Um, what, how do you say D? Um, Delena. 30 hundred. So D would be equivalent. We're going to skip over E for a second and go to F. What does that say? Uh, Caitlin? 33 hundred. 33 Is that what we're trying to find? Nope. We're trying to find 30 hundred, so F is out. Now let's look at C and E for a second. They gave you fraction problems that you're gonna have to add, right? And what do we have to have before we can add fractions? Olivia? They have to have the same denominator. They have to have the same denominator. So, right now we've got 10, 10, and 100. Those are not the same. So, what do we need to do to make them the same? Jackson? Um, add zeros behind the, behind the 2, and the 10, and the, ten and, the seven, and, and the 10. If we do something to the top, we have to do it to the bottom. If we do it to the bottom, we have to do it to the top. Everybody right now, put a zero behind the two, and the 10, and the seven, and the 10. Now we have 20 hundredths plus 3 hundredths plus 70 hundredths. Let's add the two small or bigger numbers first. What's 70 plus 20? 90, 90 plus three? 93. 93 hundredths. Is that what we're trying to get to? No. no. So that means C is out. And then the last one is E. Gentry, what do I need to do to this one? You need to add a zero with the two and the 10. Yes, add a zero to the two and the 10. So what is 20 hundredths plus 10 hundredths, Emma? What is it? 20 plus 10 is what? Not three. Not three hundredths. Ten plus twenty. What's that equal? Thirty hundredths. Okay, you with me? All right. Thirty hundredths. So Hema is third. Is that is that one good? Yes. Is that one a match? Yes, it is. Okay. So now. We, how many answers do we have that are equivalent? Three. Three. Yes. You can. So Jackson's pointing out on E. So let's look at that closer, super fast. So we had, we started with two tenths plus ten hundredths. And Jackson pointed out that in addition to adding a zero to the top and bottom, we could have also done this. We could also take away one. And so that would equal three tenths, which we know is equal to 30 hundredths. Okay, so that would work. The reason that um, I didn't go that way is because in the original problem, it had 30 hundredths. So I thought it might be easier to go up to 30 hundredths, but you are correct, Jackson. Good point. Okay, next page. The directions on this page say find the sum or the
the difference. One of the biggest mistakes that I've seen students making lately is adding when they're supposed to subtract or subtracting when they're supposed to add. So I would like you to start by circling the operation sign. The operation, that's the action. Okay, so A is an addition problem. So what is seven plus two? Nine. Nine, put down the nine. Six plus six? Twelve. Twelve. Put down the two. two. Carry the one. one. Seven plus five? Seven plus five? Twelve. Twelve plus one more? Thirteen. Thirteen. Put down the three. Carry the one. one. Four plus four? Eight. Plus one? Nine. Three plus two? Five. And three plus nothing? Three. Three hundred fifty-nine thousand three hundred twenty-nine. What? Okay. Um, on B, what operation are we doing? Subtraction. Subtraction. Nine. So remember, top number's what you have. Bottom's what you're taking away. When you have more on the floor, you got to go next door. Nine minus five. Four. One minus two. Can't do that. Can't do that. So we're going to borrow from the four and make it a three. Make the one and 11 minus two. Nine. Three minus one. Two. Seven minus zero. Seven. Two minus eight. Can't do that. Can't do that. So we borrow from the eight, make it a seven. Make the two a twelve. Twelve minus eight. Four. Seven minus nothing. Seven. Don't forget to bring that last seven down. Okay. Um, so seven hundred forty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-four. Okay. On number six, it's been a minute since we did this too. So Claire. Han and Andre each ran 40 yards. It took Claire six and eight tenths seconds. It took Han six and nine tenths seconds. Andre finished in less time than Han, but more time than Claire. What could be Andre's time? So this one at first is kind of tough. So we're going to start by drawing a number line. And um, um, what range we're going to put is between uh, six at the start. Okay. Um, so we are got a number line here. And we know that they, the, um, this is six seconds and seven seconds, right? Because they all, uh, all their times are between six and seven seconds, right? Smaller than seven seconds, but more than six. Okay, because they have a decimal, how do you say that decimal? The decimal part. Oh, eight tenths. Eight tenths, right? How do you say this decimal? Nine, 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 nine tenths. tenths. So both of them end in the word tenths, right? So that means that we will break our number line into how many sections? Ten. Tenths. Okay. So I'm going to start by doing one in the middle, and then um, I need ten sections. So I'm going to go one, two. That's not gonna I made them too big. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Corbin, sit up, please. Okay. So this would be six and one tenth sections, or 6.1, right? This would be six and two tenths, 
or 6.2. Remember this a little bit? Okay. So 6, point, or 6 and 1 tenths, 6 and 2 tenths, 6 and 3 tenths, 6 and 4 tenths, 6 and 5 tenths, 6 and 6 tenths, 6 and 7 tenths, 6 and 8 tenths, 6 and 9 tenths. And so this was Claire, hers was 6 and 8 tenths, and this is Han, his was 6 and 9 tenths. Andre's score was somewhere in here. What could Andre's score have been? Henley? Six and five eighths, or, oh, like six and five eighths. No. Emily? Six and five tenths. Five tenths is over here, remember? Six and five tenths is over here. So that would be six and a half, but this isn't six, so six and a half wouldn't work. You know it's the halfway point between these two, right? Yeah. But what would it be? Zeke, what do you think? Um, six and eighty-five hundredths. Yes. Do you guys remember, watch, six and eight tenths is also six and eighty hundredths. Six and nine tenths is also six and ninety hundredths. Aww. Now, can we find the middle between eighty and ninety? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's been a minute. So this, so six and eighty-five hundredths would be Andre's. Could be Andre's score. Okay. So remember, guys, when we first did the human number line a long time ago. Corbin, go get a drink, please. Um, when we first did a human number line and we wanted to split sections, we had to split them further, right? Okay, so for example, um, if you have zero here and 10 here, you know that would be 10 sections. Now, let me see. Now, let me, let's do this. Between zero and one. What number is between zero and one? Two. No, between zero and one. It's all fractions and decimals, right? So you can split anything smaller by making dividing it into sections. So essentially what we did here is we took these ten sections. Put your hand down, please. We put these 10 sections and split them all into 10 more sections. Going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All the way down, and that ended up giving us hundreds, right? So um, here's what I want you to write on that one. So first we're going to answer the question. 6 and 85 hundredths seconds. So Claire's time was 6.8 or 6 and 8 tenths or 6.80, which is 6 and 80 hundredths. Han's time. was 6.9 or 6 and 9 tenths or 6.90 which is 6 and 90 hundredths. Andre's time is between And eighty hundredths and six and ninety hundredths. So it could be six and eighty five hundredths. So Claire's time was between six and eight tenths, was six and eight tenths, which is the exact same thing as six and eighty hundredths. Last question on this page. 
says select all the true statements. Whoops. Okay. Um, notice that all five of these numbers are the same. Do you see that? 287,164. All right, so um, first thing we're going to do on this one is write 287,164 five times neatly across the bottom. Make sure and give yourself plenty of room. Start on the very far side and write 287,164 and leave a space. because there's five different problems we need to do. <clears throat> A says 287,164 rounded to the nearest 100,000 is 200,000. So we're going to come to this first number and underline the 100,000's place. What digits in the 100,000's place? Olivia? The two. The two, good. So I'm going to underline the two. That means the boss is the eight. What does a boss of eight tell the number to do? Um, Allie? Go up, Go up by one. So what is one more than two? Three. 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 Now I'm going to put dots under these five numbers because all five of them turn into zeros. Zero. So that means 287,164 rounded to the nearest 100,000 equals 300,000. Is that what it says it equals? No. No. So that one is wrong. Okay. The next one says 287,164 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 290,000. What digits in the 10,000s place? Delana? Eight. So we're going to underline the eight, but extend it forward to cover the two. Now we've got a boss of seven. What does a boss of seven tell the number to do? Ariana? Not, not oh. stay the same. Chevy? Go up by one. So the 20, 28 becomes what, Chevy? Uh, the What did you just tell me it does? Oh, go up by one. So what's it become? Uh -huh. 28 becomes? Oh, it's 29. 29, there you go. 29, and then the one, two, three, four numbers after become zeros. So it tells us it turns into 290,000. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So oh, we're going to circle B. So, Ariana, on the, um, on the test, you can make your own little resource because if you're like, I can't remember which boss tells you to do what, each boss, there's five numbers for each boss, okay? A boss of zero, one, two, three, or four, kind of a little boss, they don't have much power. So they're like, just stay the same, okay? I'm not going to make anybody mad. You can stay the same. Does that make sense? Then a big boss, which is a 5, a 6, a 7, 8, or 9, big bosses are like, you go up by 1. Okay? So, um, there's 5 numbers that say stay the same, 5 numbers that say go up by 1. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Little bosses don't have the power to make a number go up by 1. That's kind of. Okay. 
Um, now we're on C. 287,164 rounded to the nearest thousand is 287,000. Jada, what digits in the thousands place? Uh, the digits in the thousands place one and hundred thousand, the seven. Good work. Good work, yes. So it would be the seven, so we're going to extend that line forward. Okay, so what does a boss of one, a little boss, tell the number to do, Ariana? Digit. Yes, girl. Stay the same. So the two, the eight, and the seven stay the same. The one, the six, and the four turn into zeros. So is C correct? Yes. 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 So we're going to circle C. Okay. Now, we are rounding 287,164 to the nearest hundred. Derek, what digits in the hundreds place? The one. So I'm going to underline the one and everything in front. What does the six tell the one to do, or that number to do? Olivia? Go up by one. Go up by one. So this would be two, eight, seven, Two. Two. Two, eight, seven, two. What happens to the six and the four? Zero. Zero. So is D correct or no? No. no. Okay, last one. Tens place. Um, Allie, what digits in the tens place? The six. So I'm going to underline the six and everything in front. What does the four tell that number to do, Allie? Um, yes. So the two, the eight, the seven, the one, and the six stay the same. The four turns into a zero. zero. So that means E is incorrect. incorrect. Okay. All right. Last page. reported 633,621 students in 2016. A school district in New York City reported 984,462 students the same year. So I'm going to underline Los Angeles and their number and New York City and their number. Okay. So the first question under, so we don't write anything under in here, right? That's just where the question is. Under A, it says which school district had more students? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write LA and then draw a line and then write 633,621. And then over here, we're going to write NYC which is short for what? New York, New York City. City. New York City. And we're going to write 984,462. Now we're trying to figure out which district had more students. Okay? So which is the bigger number? Or let me ask you this. Which district had more? Everybody. New York New City. City. New York City. Okay. So we're going to use the greater than, or the, sorry, the less than symbol to answer this question, okay? And then we're going to circle this one. I will take that as explaining your reasoning. So we drew them out, we showed which, which each was, and used the less than symbol, okay? So that's all you have to do on that one. Number or letter B says how many more students? When you see the words how many more, what operation does that tell you to do, Rylan? Subtract. Subtract. So we have our two numbers and we need to subtract. Which one goes on top? The bigger one. Emily? The bigger one. The bigger one goes on top. 
So we know New York City is bigger. So we're going to write, make sure and leave some space at the top to regroup. 924,462 minus 633,621. And then our equal sign under it. Um, and we need to remember, we're subtracting here. What is 2 minus 1? 1. 6 minus 2? 4. 4 minus 6. Can't do, can't do that. So we go next door, borrow from the 4, make it a 3. Make the 4 into a 14. 14 minus 6? Nope, 8. 3 minus 3? 0. 0. 8 minus 3? 5. 9 minus 6? 3. And it's how many more are labels going to be students? So 350,841 students. How many more students? That many more students. Okay? The last one says how many more? How many more? What do we do, everybody? Add. Okay. So just like a minute ago, We have our word clues over here. <clears throat> How many more is under subtraction? So we're going to subtract. It says, How many more students does the school district in New York need to have 1 million students? Okay? So we know we're going to subtract, and the numbers we're dealing with are the New York number. And one million, what goes on top? One million. One million. So the way you write a one million is a one, a comma, a zero, 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 a comma, a zero, zero, zero. One million minus. Nothing goes under the one, right? Because the biggest number in New York, biggest place value is a hundred thousand. Is a hundred thousand. So nothing under the one. Under the first zero, we start 984,462. All right, make sure you left a little bit of space so that you can regroup. And we're subtracting. What is zero minus two? Can't do that. You can't do that. We have a bunch of zeros, right? Yeah. And so. What is our goal to make the zero on the end turn into a what? A 10. A 10. And we're going to do that by borrowing one from this big long number. What is the one going to become? A zero. It's going to go down by one. What do all of these zeros turn into? Nine. Nine. All of them except for the last one. Because our goal, the reason we borrowed, was to make this value into a 10. Okay? So, that's the biggest mistake that students make when using the method that I've taught you, where you turn it into one big number and borrow one from it, is they turn the last zero into a 9 also. But remember, we're trying to make it a 10. Okay, so what is 10 minus 2? Nine minus six. Three. Three. Nine minus four. Five. Nine minus four. Five. Nine minus eight. One. Nine minus nine. Zero. zero. And zero minus nothing. Zero. So fifteen thousand five hundred thirty-eight students. Okay. That's it. Yay. So. Um, to prepare for the test on Friday, um, I would practice subtracting with a lot of zeros. Um, we're going to do review tomorrow. We're going to do a lot of those problems on marker boards, working them, um, and also splitting uh, decimals by adding a zero behind them and looking at them as 80 and 90 instead of 8 and 9. So, um, 
Remember, I've got videos of pretty much every lesson that we've done in this unit, so you can review if you felt not real comfortable on some of these. Um, go back and watch the video. It'll refresh your memory, okay? All right, I'm gonna stop this.